Republicans in Congress took a break this week from denouncing the power of the federal government to do things like stopping our rivers from catching on fire. Uh, they took a break from decrying the tyranny of the federal government, sticking its nose into everything to stick their nose into Washington, D.C. D.C. specifically, the city, the local government of the District of Columbia, once again this week got put through part of the annual ritual that is Republicans in Congress overruling D.C.'s own local decision making on everything from abortion rights to public schools. And Republicans in Congress do this every year while saying that one of their fundamental values is limiting federal overreach and preserving local self-determination. They do this every year. Every year they bigfoot D.C. like you can't believe. And every year it spells hypocrisy out in the sky in flaming letters the size of the sun that nobody notices. And every year it makes me crazy and it makes me love Washington, D.C., the city. And this year, the district has given me a way to show them my love in a way that makes me very, very happy. The District of Columbia this week declared the Ricky to be the native cocktail of Washington, D.C. From here on out, July in Washington, D.C. is Ricky Month. The Ricky is one of the easiest to make and cheapest and most accessible cocktails ever invented. And it was invented in Washington at a saloon called Shoemakers in the 1880s. Shoemakers is now the site of the downtown D.C. Marriott Hotel. At a ceremony this week at the Marriott and a party this weekend, I'm sure, uh, star D.C. bartender and really nice guy Derek Brown, uh, as well as the drinking luminaria of Washington, they celebrated the coronation of the Ricky. So, for tonight's cocktail moment, here's how you make a Ricky. You totally can do this even if you can make no other drink. This takes no skill. All right, what you need is a tall glass, ice, uh, you need fresh limes, not plastic limes, fresh limes. Uh, you need seltzer or club soda, and you need booze. Um, it, it is a tart drink. There is no sugar in this. And in order to enjoy this, you do have to not mind something that is tart, and you have to not mind the taste of liquor, because this tastes like the booze that you put in it. But if you are okay with those things, this will cure you of gin and tonics forever. So you put the ice in the glass. Don't fill it up all the way. Um, you're going to add two ounces of spirits. Uh, you can use gin for a gin ricky or bourbon for a bourbon ricky, or in this case, we are making a rye ricky using bonded, which means 100 proof written house rye. Two ounces of booze. Here's the ricky part. You ready? You get your half a lime and squeeze the half a lime directly into the glass. Oh my God, that's what makes it tart. Yes, you won't get scurvy, trust me. And now here's the magic part you drop the lime shell in there, add more ice, and then top it with seltzer. And give it a little stir if you want, but you'll be all right. This is apparently, oh, nice. It's apparently uh, named after a lobbyist named Joe Ricky, who drank his in the morning at Shoemaker's Saloon in Washington, uh, and he liked his with bourbon. So happy Ricky month. I love Washington, D.C. Republicans in Congress, leave them alone. Have a great weekend.